Hello folks, uh, we are going to cover IntelliJ IDEA when you are working on a big projects and IntelliJ IDEA features are very handy uh, to navigate go, uh, through the code. So I will tell you a few uh, tips and tricks then you can explore uh, your code, your project very easily. So let's uh, explore some handy shortcuts. For example, you are searching for some class, how you can search your class. For example, uh, in this code, I want to see HTTP servlet, for example, here. How, where is this class from? For example, where it is implemented, because we here only extended this class. So how, uh, just press Control plus N, what? Control plus N. So it will give you the, exact position of or the location of HTTP servlet class or your class, whatever class you want. Even it gives you a lot of other options which class you want related to HTTP servlet. So for example, we want this one. There are two classes, Java servlet class API and then there is a Java X servlet API. So uh, 2.5 and 3. Dot something. So we will go through this file. So is it open a new class, the whole Java servlet, HTTP class, like HTTP servlet class. So we can go through this. The next one is searching for file. For example, you want to search some file within your project. Uh, so how you search that, that file? Uh, so you can search your file by using Control Shift plus N. What? Control Shift plus N. For example, you press Control Shift plus N, so you can search for your application or file. For example, here my app, I have one file, the name is my application.java. So I can search through another. For example, I want to search from this code is Control Shift plus N. Then I want to search java9.xml. Okay, tutorial.xml. So I can find this file. So it's very handy. The next one is more useful command. That is a double shift. If you tap double shift, it will, a window will pop up and where you can search from all over the project, whatever you want to search. The same things, uh, some, for example, task surveys. So it will give you the task surveys or for example, the same thing that we explore already HTTP servlet, so it will give you the whole project's searching environment where you can search it. It's very handy, especially double shift, search everywhere is very handy. And if you want, uh, there is another very important IntelliJ idea have one good feature. It is like whole world wide web. It is, the whole code is connected together. It's like, have some indexing. For example, I want to see HTTP servlet. I will highlight it, click and control plus click. So it will open up the new class or that element or that entity. You can also use another keyboard, another key that is F4. So you press F4, it will pop up. So th the next one is you want to search some documentation related to some file. The same HTTP servlet, for example, I want to see the documentation related to HTTP servlet. So what I will do, I will just press Control plus Q. So it will pop up the documentation related to this. The benefit uh, of this uh, documentation is you are not breaking your code, you are reading the documents, what is inside this class or who implemented that, who extended this. So you can see by this code with uh, this documentation without breaking the code. The next one is I want to talk about hierarchy of class. For example, you want to see the hierarchy, all hierarchy of this class. So you just press control plus H and the hierarchy of this class will pop up. The last one that I want to talk is that is very handy. For example, you forgot uh, something, some action within whole IntelliJ idea. So how you can find out that 
uh, action for example i want to increase the font size of this intellij idea but i forgot where it is i found like very experienced coder those those forget the feature of their id so there is a very handy information that is control plus uh, shift plus a control shift plus a so you can find out anything for example i want to increase or decrease font size increase font size look it's very handy control and for example i want to see the whole settings where are settings i don't need to go through all this stuff that is it is intellij idea so settings go there and you have whole settings so i think this is it from uh, my side if you want to see anything else just write in the comment i will make one more screencast and i will put more information related to intellij idea thank you